Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go! 7-3, the Mega Snark, and that is exactly the name of the enemy that we are going to be facing here. Oh god, here it comes! Get behind the pillar! This is all uh, a cutscene, by the way. And... <laughs> yeah, did you see that? That's the Mega Snark the Bilge Monkeys are talking about. He's huge! Boy, it's a good thing we were behind that old mast. Oh, I don't want to go out there, Scarf. What are we going to do now? I guess if we... If we just move ahead quietly. Don't make any sounds using your star spin or turbo spin moves, okay? Or else it'll be shark food. If Mega Snark does find us, get behind those big wooden masts. So, yeah. Oh, alright, here we go. You make your move, don't forget to duck behind the masts. Where did, where did Bunsen hop off to? Man, he's as sneaky as a long-eared prince from space. Okay, so yeah, he won't do anything to you even if you swim out here until you start doing that swim move or spin like that. Basically, any sort of uh, quick movements will cause the Mega Snark to go after you and then you gotta hide behind a pole. But actually, you don't want to hide behind the pole. You know why you don't want to hide behind the pole? Because you actually want him to eat you, believe it or not. <laughs> you see, inside here, there is a secret. Yeah, there's actually something inside his body that you can do, and it's required to 100% the game. Hey, there's Bunston. <laughs> Surfy, are you alright? The shark gobbled us up and swallowed us whole. Wait, listen, do you hear voices? I think there's someone else in here. Maybe you should do a star spin on the wall near where it's coming from. Wanna try? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, shoot, actually I should try, I mean, I should have said no to see the other dialogue, but whatever. Anyway, let's listen for a sound. This is very, very hard to tell, and I swear they move as well. Like, yeah. <laughs> So, it's, it just it feels more like luck than anything, in my opinion. Oh, there we go. I mean, you can follow the sound, but... Yeah, it's the Bilge Monkeys. <laughs> anyway, it's around here again somewhere, because the sound is the loudest, I think. It's like the Lost Woods in Zelda Ocarina of Time, except the cues are much, much more difficult to follow. <laughs> anyway, bounce off walls like a crazy starfish. They're only found in these cubes, by the way, these cubes of flesh, and yeah, you gotta find it three times, or actually find them three times in order to end this minigame, and as you can tell, you have unlimited time, so it doesn't even feel like a real minigame, <laughs> in all honesty. Anyway, I think it's coming from the right, I have stereo speakers, up oh, there we go. Yeah! Boy, thanks once more. The captain told me, tell him. Then let them do the hard work and get the shard from them. But I can't do something bad like that. Yeah, it wouldn't be right. Well, anyway, I think he. And to show me thanks, I'll tell that little guy some secret scuttlebutt. And thus, another secret level has opened up. Well, I think. Thank you. If anyone could do it, it was you, Starfy. So, it was the Bilge Monkeys we were hearing. But I wonder how they got in here in the first place. By the way, the Bilge Monkeys showed me their map to say thank you. Yep, secret two. There it is. It's right there. All right, all right. Hold on, so I see. Uh, yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Now, what if I say no? Huh? Really? I wonder if it's okay to just forget about it. Well, no. But yeah, they're trapped again. But we're gonna just leave them this time. <laughs> We already got the secret open, they'll be fine, I'm sure. Anyway, that's the exit. <laughs> I wonder where we exited from. Perhaps we shouldn't think about it too much. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really going to bother playing Solid Snake here, for the most part, because the pillars are pretty close together, and thus it's not really all that threatening that you have to be. Um, super, super slow to get through that, yeah. <laughs> like, it's you're not going to be instantly destroyed, um, I should say instantly eaten, if you, uh, um, you know, you take your time outside there, just as long as you get to the next pillar. Um, 
Over here, as you can tell, most sniffer is going off. Uh, the sand snarks, it's kind of weird, they're called sand snarks, but they're not in sand. Like, I've seen sand sharks before in other games, but these, nope, you really only see them in water. <laughs> anyway, most sniffer means there's something nearby. It's definitely something we want, but will the sharks allow me to get it? Yeah, they probably will. <laughs> They don't really even care about the treasure in here. They're just swimming back and forth endlessly. And oh, I just kind of pinballed there. <laughs> I'm also trying to kill off everything we see along the way. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm not really trying that hard to kill off things. Anyway, Sniffs' his diary. Wrong and Pape have been saying some weird things lately. I can't say that I blame them, but I'm not a fool either. I mean, there's nothing we can do. We don't like working for the big guy. Sure, but I'm scared to think what would happen if we went against the boss's orders. Well, they kind of already figured that out. They, they got quite the tongue lashing at first. <laughs> but otherwise, nothing happened to them. They seem pretty good overall. Then again, they didn't meet him in person again, so yeah. That, that could go much, much more differently. Anyway, I seen Globerto. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> and I'm very reluctant about talking to him. But I will. My maps, they're impossible to resist, yes. Uh, no, they are quite possible to resist. Quite possible. <laughs> anyway, let's go through the door, because this place seems pretty well cleared out. And more snark attacks. Uh, I'll wait here. See, I was able to go across a couple of pillars there without really worrying about... Oh, new enemy. New enemy right there. That's a helmet crab. Gotta knock off, knock off their helmet first before uh, you can damage them. I'd like to re... Yes, just watch, watch them for a little bit here. Like you do this. And then they're like, oh, panic, 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 panic. I'm vulnerable. I'm vulnerable. And then, yeah, you can destroy them like that. Anyway, let's move on here, because I was messing around with a rather easy enemy. Uh, they're mostly there just to stall you from getting to a pillar. Like, actually, a lot of the enemies here, because, you know, you get, you get bounced back when you hit ah, certain stuff when you're out in the open there, and when you're out in the open, you are vulnerable to the snark. Oh, and here's where, it think, where things get a little bit more interesting, is because you can't overspin yourself. Otherwise, oh, actually, shouldn't I be eaten by the snark to see if he's got something to, you know, like something in his belly. It's pretty easy to get through this, so it's like, <laughs> who cares? Oh, it's the same pathway. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that was kind of a waste. I'm going to be sent back to the beginning for nothing more than an experiment. <laughs> so it's actually the same mega snark. That's interesting. And there we go. And we are safe. Go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. No bouncies. No bouncies. Bouncies are banned. In the great oceans. That's why That's why they're banned right there. The shark, actually the snark, is trying to bounce off the pillars. But it's not doing so well. And it hurts himself. And knocks out some teeth. But it's okay. The snarks just grow the teeth right back like all other sharks. There we go, and we can make it. Oh, no, maybe we can't. <laughs> right, but yeah, this is where it gets pretty interesting because you can't overspin yourself, because if you stun yourself, you know, you might be out in the open and not be able to make it to the next pillar in time. All right, oh, maze time. Oh, we made it. But where's Bunston? He wasn't gobbled up by Mega Snark, was he? Well, kind of was. But he'll be fine. <laughs> All right, Starf, we gotta find the kid before we get out of here. Bunston can be a little carrot brain sometimes. I hope he's all right. Ah, he's just fine. I just seen him a little while ago. Okay, we got Maze of Doom. Also a treasure chest to be found. Hmm, where could it be? I don't remember this particular room maze. Uh, oh, Pearl Sprite. I suppose that's pretty nice to find. Getting close to the elusive 9,999 mark. Come on, get me pearls faster. I've been too impatient for this. <laughs> Come on, this will kill off, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's always just two waves of those pearls, and then 
then it uh, gets destroyed by the next starsman. I guess it could only take so much. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of hard to follow Mo Sniffer. In this case, like, you know how he gets all excited when you are getting closer to something? Uh, because, you know, you get near it and then he gets all... I smell some treasure. I'm looking for a pirate booty and whatnot, yeah. <laughs> but it's it's very difficult to do in these sorts of mazes because you know that you know it's in the area, but if you follow his sniffer directly, it might lead you to a dead end, which is probably what the designers are intending. <laughs> anyway, that's the way out. Um, actually, is there is it up here? Oh, it is actually it might actually be up here. <laughs> I can't believe I failed that badly. <laughs> like, why did I... Uh, oh. Okay, now I'm just failing completely. Come on, respawn, respawn. <laughs> Alright, I did this fine in the minigame the first time. I don't know why I'm mishitting buttons now. <laughs> anyway, there we go. There's the treasure chest. Distinguished wig. Oh, yeah. Now I can give starfish, <clears throat> starfish hair. Um, well, I guess we're, we're going to need the assistance of a certain fish. Mm, oh, they're going to get in my way. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I need to lead you around. All right, wake up. Wake up, come on. Come on, there you go, good boy. All right, now I gotta uh, try and scout out ahead here. I'd like to see where that switch was. Was it like... Okay, it was towards the middle of that left side. Okay, now I'm going to... Go around, those snarks are going to try and stall me, but they are going to fail, I assure you. Okay, come on around, come on fishy, come on, you can come on, come on. Don't worry, these sharks won't hurt you, they don't like to eat bones. They just, they just like, they just like to chomp at the water, that's what they do. Now I'm going to go around, so I can get on this side and hit you, and I'm going, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, that was bad. I might not make it in time. Gotta hustle and bustle through the city. Oh yeah! I don't know how much time I had there, but I bet you it was it was pretty tight <laughs> because uh, it was already on the ground when I seen it pop up on screen. Well, not pop up when it, you know when I showed it on screen. Uh, no, no. Mm -mm -mm. Not gonna change my mind. I assure you. Um, is this like a like a punishment zone? Yeah, I think so. In that, uh, if you drop down here, you have to go back over to the left and restart the, this segment. There we go. Um, I think I'll try here first because the platform seemed to be leading me. Um. Um. um I don't know which way to go. <laughs> the reason why I think the platforms are the way forward is because um, that door showed me the way first, basically. And oh, maybe not. <laughs> this was a completely useless side. Well, what's the point of these platforms if there aren't any like pearls or anything like that? Is it so that you have two ways of getting to this door? Because it's like I thought it was a punishment zone, but you can actually. You know, launch yourself out of the water quite easily like that to get back up on the platform. See, to get up on the platforms, so it's not even a punishment zone. It's it's up oh, shoot. <laughs> well, maybe it's slightly a punishment zone if you fail. But what I mean is, it's not like the usual failure areas of other places. Anyway, this is simple platforming. I don't know why I kept uh, falling there. <laughs> There we go. I mean, there are two block moving platforms. Come on now, that's easy. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should have slid down through there with Starfy before I uh, transformed to a chicken. Mm, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No bad clam. Oh, I actually need you. <laughs> uh, oh. It looks like that other path was for, um... Uh-oh. That was pretty good timing. 
<clears throat> yeah, I think that other path is entirely for Starfy. Like, if you decide not to transform. Like, let's go back and see that lower route. Uh, just for kicks. Hey guys, how's it going? Do not... Wait, could you guys, like, fire all at once? That would be pretty interesting. Huh, I guess you can. I, th I thought that was gonna cause, like, slowdown or something like that, but no, I guess not. Mm. 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 Oh, wow, you can go through walls. The Stangler thing. Alright, alright, alright. That wasn't all that interesting. <laughs> Although I did find out that they can go through walls. I guess that's interesting. Anyway, you got something good, don't you? You've got something good. Like maybe a whole load of pocket change? Nope. You disappoint me. You disappoint me greatly. Though I'm getting I'm getting more from the lanterns than I am from an an enemy that takes four hits to destroy. In fact, I'm not getting anything from an enemy that takes four hits to destroy. <laughs> um, probably just better off jumping over them. Now, what, what is, what's the point of these platforms off to the side? Are they just there to jump over the skull pins? Maybe? Could be? Might be? Probably. But I don't think you really need them since you have the double jump. Anyway, boop. Yeah, make this place total darkness. No light here. Nope, no lanterns. Lanterns are banned too. Mm. Mm. Yes. I'm avoiding you guys because you are. Actually, you take far too long to defeat. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I were to, were to have dropped down that left side. It would probably drop me all the way down. Yeah, I could. It looks like it just drops me down all the way to the side where the plunger is, so it's sort of like a shortcut more than anything, unless you want to get pearls from the lanterns, if they even drop pearls. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Man, we traveled a long way, didn't we? <laughs>